Hi, Lindsay. So, this is the business with regard to puppy development. So, you'll often hear people say, oh, like your dog is one or two years old, they're still a puppy. They may be still developing physically, and like my Golden Jack really came into his own physically between two and three, but in terms of development, uh, sociability, behaviorally, it's much, much younger than that. Uh, it can be, I think, as young as six months, maybe max like 12 months, but really from up until like four to six to eight months is really the sweet spot, is really where we have availability in terms of, of influencing behavior. So past a certain point, there are certain behaviors and certain dogs where there's no more training that's going to be effective in dealing with them, and we're just going to have to manage around them. But when they're still a puppy, we have the option, we have the opportunity to do things that might uh, influence their behavior positively. The foundation of all dog training is engagement. Engagement simply means the extent to which my dog looks at me like a meal ticket for positive experiences. I want my dog to consider me the vehicle for the things that he likes in the world as opposed to uh, something tertiary. So uh, what this means in terms of puppy development is that I want to take every opportunity to engage with my dog in as many different scenarios as possible. So people talk about puppy socialization, but often have a different understanding of it than what is actually helpful for the puppy. When I'm socializing my puppy or familiarizing it with different situations, exposing it to different stimuli, what I'm doing ideally is engaging with my dog, with my puppy, around those uh, new circumstances. What I don't want is a dog that I'm teaching to explore on its own with no regard for where he is with me. So I want to take my puppy to as many different places as possible and uh, have him pay attention to me. So that looks like he's walking and I say his name and I give him a treat. He's walking, I say his name, I give him a treat. I do little training sessions in different situations. What I want in terms of reactivity is neutrality. So what that means is I want a dog who registers different environments and different things happening in different environments and does not have any reaction to it. I don't want a dog where when I walk down the street, it needs to greet other dogs. I'd love it for it to be able to do that, but I don't want to teach my puppy that every time we see a stranger or every time we see another dog, it's time to say hello and have like a big love fest because that's fucking annoying. And it is often the case, depending on the other dog, that not only is it annoying, but it could present problems, right? So I want to take my dog to places. I want to take my puppy to places and walk it past things. Use food to lure it past things. Um, the other thing I really want to touch on with regard to your puppy specifically because of its breed is being careful not to expose it to situations where it has an opportunity to get into skirmishes, particularly to bite. And the reason is with bully breeds maybe in general, but definitely with pit bulls specifically, it is entirely possible that when they really get a bite in, and bite down on something, a chemical is released that, it, like, their experience of it is like, I have come home, and this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And once it has that experience, it's going to go looking for it, potentially, in other situations. For this reason, it may be really helpful to avoid the dog park, specifically, um, during this phase of the puppy's development, because... I always want to have control over my environment in such a way that I can remove the dog or other dogs from the situation if a problem develops. It's not the case in the dog park that I can do it. And honestly, behaviorally, 
it can be the devil, particularly in puppy development where it can make an impact on the dog for the rest of the life, of the dog's life. You have three dogs, and so it really has, you really have the option of, of giving them opportunities to romp around all together. And so it really might be a good idea to avoid dog parks um, for the time being with the pup. The other thing that I would touch on is time alone with you and the puppy because it's hard to engage with three dogs at once. And your other two dogs are already adults, so like this time isn't important for them, but it is very important for the puppy. So to take, an, to take as many opportunities as possible to engage with your puppy uh, apart from the other dogs, take it on little trips, always have food. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, but I always try to have food available so that the puppy is looking to me for good things to happen. Um, when I take my dog out, I don't want my dog to be an accessory to my